something that is brand new today, and it's going to take all the work out of prep work. You want to make your own zoodles? Oh, we're making them. We're making beautiful shreds that are coming together very quickly and very easily, thanks to the Master Pro Electric Grater Shredder that comes along with five different blades. Now, one piece of zucchini, look at all that output. Look at all that volume. And if you're looking to do low carb, you can add, you can uh, make a pasta, instead of, instead of pasta, use this. Instead of making lasagna with noodles, make it with zoodles. Yes, I love that. It's delightful. And Chef Jeremy Parker is back with us with this wonderful brand new brand and this machine that does all the work for us and really takes all the prep out of prep work. Yeah, it really does. And it comes with every blade that you would ever need. It's made for the home cook. So it just takes prep work, which is the hardest part of cooking, is prepping, and it makes it so simple. So here's the fine blade that we started with. That's for zoodles. That's for if you're making zucchini bread or carrot cake. You're going to get the fine blade. Excuse the noodles on there. Then you're going to get to the larger shredder. Uh, which is your normal size you might think of, cheddar cheese. Soft the, cheeses, Soft like cheeses, that. yeah, big potatoes for hash browns. Then you get the grinding one. This is for your chocolate, for your nuts, for doing graham cracker crust. For hunks of Parmesan cheese. Hunks of, right. Then you get two slicing blades, a thick blade and a thin blade. So everything, mm. it's very, very simple to use. All you do is just take the blade, it loads, I'm going to do the thick guy here. It loads in here, you lift this up and it's in. To clean it, the whole thing comes off, and that goes to the dishwasher. So, and then, let me do, how about potatoes? Let me grab some potatoes right here. Okay. And show you, because I love this for hash browns. If you want to make fresh hash browns, just like that. I mean, if you did it on a box grater, it would take you forever. The knuckle buster, it would take literally forever. This is something you're going to plug in, you know, the potato? Yeah, please. There you go. There you I just did, just to show you how easy that is, I peel the potatoes, and just like that. Parmesan uh, cheese. Look at that volume. Thing. Yeah. Now, I've seen this kind of thing before, and sometimes it gets gummed up and jammed up. This is not getting gummed up or jammed up. That's it, right. And then to clean it, you just pull this up. This comes out here, and the blade pops off, so it's really simple to clean. This comes off, and what I love is that everything stacks together, all your blades, so it's easy to store. What if you are doing a pie crust and you need graham cracker crumbs? Oh. And all you have in the pantry are graham crackers. You load it full of graham crackers and put in the grinding mix. Look at this. Now all I'm going to do is add some melted butter to this and create a beautiful pie crust. Now I'm going to need some more graham crackers. Yeah, this plate. And I love, it has the loading tray there too, so you can have nuts and things resting on top and you just load them right in. Look at that. The ones we've seen before have the hand crank. You know, the hand power. And you know, I think the reason they got gummed up is because the speed wasn't consistent. Yeah. And the amount of pressure that you were exerting wasn't consistent. Now, here's a block of cheese. Cheese, yes. This can be like cobalt, cheddar, and I'm just going to take this straight down and watch it work on that cheese. It's a blizzard of cheese. I mean, taco night. If you're making lasagna, you're Make doing, potato night. Absolutely. You could do all that cheese. Let me just fuse the handle to press all that in there. And I mean, look at the volume. Now, it's part of my job to test the food to make sure it's okay. Make sure that's okay. Make then. sure it's safe. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Safe. Safe. <laughs> okay. Just to be sure I'll have a little more. Yeah. Mm. And again, that blade pops right there. How's mm -hmm. that working? Okay. How about hard cheese, David? Let's do some of that here. Let me get another bowl. Is that and, cheese safe? Is oh, that, it's is perfect. That good? Okay. And if you're thinking about making your own cheese sauce, please grate your own cheese. Yeah. If you use that pre shredded here stuff you buy at the supermarket, it's full of potato starch. Potato starch, yeah. They do that so it won't stick together. And that's great, but it also keeps it from melting easily. Okay. Here's a little thinner blade. So maybe you're doing Parmesan cheese here. This is the same blade that I did the zucchini with. If you're making zucchini bread, if you're making carrot cake. And again, you can see, let the machine do the work for you. You press a button, you push it down. You're not cranking. It's so simple. It's easy to use. And cleanup is a snap. I mean, you just the blade pops out this Look way. Look at this volume. Look how much cheese. That's Parmesan? That's Parmesan. I should want to taste that, too. Yep. How's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like two. Mm -hmm. Isn't that great? Okay. <laughs> I love this item. This is great. Oh, I love it, too. And then this just goes to the dishwasher to clean it right here. And again, you just lock it on here, and it's easy to use. Okay. And I understand that all of this mechanism is dishwasher safe. Dishwasher yeah? safe. Hand wash these guys. Always hand wash your blades, I recommend. Rinse it out. If you have the Kochblum brushes, you could just use those. Oh, that's nice. I love that for that. Okay. So this is our slicing blade. Let's keep on slicing. Let's do sliced carrots. How about that? I'm going to put a carrot in and turn this guy on. 
Good now. There are 2,100 of these left. Now, it will also slice, so I'll move this out of the way. You can see <laughs> those come out like little poker chips. Just like little poker chips. Potatoes for potato chips. Carrots for carrot chips. Zucchinis for zucchini chips. Or if you hand me one of those um, uh, cucumbers over there. Cucumbers? Yeah. Let me just do a little uh, cucumber. Okay. Put this in here, and we're going to slice the cucumber. Again, and I'm doing this with, I'm doing this quick, so you might have a little bit of carrot in there. But you can see how that gives you perfect slices. You want to make a cucumber salad, sunamono. It's your best friend as a prep in the kitchen. And I just want you to see, these are almost see-through. How perfect they are. That's a lovely. Slice. Isn't that great? I love that. All right. Pop those in as well. Um, this is, we're going to wrap up on this. Stay on the line for Master Pro. It's the electric grater shredder with five different blades. It'll both slice and grate for you. 1,900 of these are left. Good to see you, sir. Thanks, Enjoy buddy. your Sunday. And you. All right. It's time for a one-time only value. It's time for us to make a trip down memory lane to 1979 in New York City, where David's chocolate chunk cookies were sold out of the debasement of a very famous New York City department store. And people would line up two 